So I gave you a pretty big challenge, and as soon as you guys took a look at it, you said, oh, this is a piece of cake. I want you to open to the page that says, find the desert animal. So we're looking at the page we just worked on with our partners. Roy, thank you for showing me a level zero. Great job. picture all the way on the top left hand side. It has two really big ears. What is that animal called, Troy? Jackrabbit. A jackrabbit. Raise your hand if you got a jackrabbit as well. You guys are so smart. What is next to the jackrabbit? It has spots on it. it kind of looks like a cat, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. Elijah. A bobcat. That is a bobcat. If you got a bobcat, say yeehaw. Yeehaw. Underneath the jackrabbit, what did you get, Miss Kenya? Oh, Underneath the jackrabbit. It was an elf owl. If you got elf owl, say yippee ki yay yay. yippee ki yay yay. Next to the elf owl, what did you get, Samara? I got. It's a hard one to pronounce. The G says. It's completely different. The G says. Want to call in a friend to help? Elijah. A Gila monster. A Gila monster. If you got a Gila monster, say Gila. Gila. <laughs> Underneath the elf owl, what did you get, Gianni? Um, a really special kind of bird that doesn't fly and runs really fast. A oh, road runner. If you got a road runner, say Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. And last but not least, the one we figured out before we even started our detective search. What is that, Claude? Scorpion. If you got a scorpion, please say ouch. Ouch. All right. Now I want you guys to take out the page that I put in there. For your homework, it says hot and dry. Uh, which one's, uh, oh, this side. I am noticing that Dominic still has a level zero. That is pretty amazing. Jamaria still has a level zero. Alec is at a level zero. Hey, so this is the page I'm talking about. I want you to turn it over so you're looking at this side. This homework is a little tricky. You have to be a super detective to answer these questions. So all of the answers are found on this page. However, you're going to have to look at the border, the pictures that go around the questions to answer them. So you'll have to look here, look at the question, and then look around. So number one says, oh, well, number one is actually not even in the picture. It says, name a hot place and a cold place. What? is hot during the day, but cold at night. Winter. Desert. A desert. So number one, the answer is desert. desert. We're not going to write it now because this is your homework, but I just want to go over this with you. Number two says name a desert plant. You're going to have to look around the border for the names of the desert plant. Can anyone find one desert plant around the border? Marcus. 
Well, I think yeah, a saguaro. A saguaro cactus. If you see saguaro cactus, take your pointer finger and point to it on the border of your page. Great job, Nyla. Great job, Elijah. Great job, Winter. Great job, Samara. Awesome. I noticed that Jason's saying ouch when he touches it. Why is Jason saying ouch when he touches the saguaro cactus? Jason, you can stop touching it now. Luna Bella, why is he saying ouch? Because if you touch the real cactus, like if you touch that cactus or plant, it will just, and you touch the spines, the, the, um, the spikes, then you will get really hurt. Exactly. Let's look at number three. This is where we get into the hard ones. Number three says, where does a chuckwalla hide from the hot sun? So the chuckwalla is actually adapting to the hot sun by hiding in a special place. So first, look around the border and see if you can find the word chuckwalla. Find the chuckwalla, see what it looks like, and then flip it over and see if you can find where it's hiding in the picture. Where is the chuckwalla hiding, Samara? It's hiding under um, on these rocks. Yeah. The rabbit scale. Exactly. So on for number three, we would write the chuckwalla is hiding in the rocks. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of flipping and turning and turning and flipping for your homework tonight but it's going to give you lots and lots of awesome knowledge about desert animals. Please put this back inside your folder and show me you are ready to pack up.